Um, a lot. I think we, or many of us, saw this this ad at uh, about Camp Ashraf, uh, featuring a, a 14-year-old girl who fears uh, extermination. Um, we face a tough a, a tough circumstance in that we are withdrawing from Iraq. Um, in the past, there have been. Uh, uh, some would say massacres, at least terrible instances in which uh, uh, tens of people have been killed. And there are press reports that the Iraqi uh, officials say, well, don't worry about it too much. After all, these folks are on the U.S. terrorist list. Um, what are we uh, doing to assure that when we leave uh, Iraq, uh, we uh, will... Uh, will not see the massacre of 3,400 people at Camp Ashraf, and uh, how's it going on the court-ordered review of whether the MEK should be on the terrorist list? Um, on, on those points in uh, particular, Congressman, um, in accordance with the D.C. Circuit's 2010 ruling, uh, the State Department is reviewing uh, the designation. Uh, there will be a decision. Uh, it has to be uh, done uh, expeditiously uh, but thoroughly and uh, we hope to have such a decision uh, in the uh, future. Um, I would add that uh, the current designation does not pose a bar to the resettlement of Ashraf residents in Europe uh, and the humanitarian situation at Ashraf uh, in our opinion is also not related uh, to the MEK's designation. Um, and I think it's also important to uh, recognize that, uh, you know, we need to do as much as we can to move as many people out of the camp before the end of the year. And we are trying to do that. Um, we're working uh, primarily through the United Nations uh, and certainly with both the residents of Ashraf and the government of Iraq uh, to try to put in place a very rapid assessment of individuals and we have urged the EU and other countries to favorably consider the uh, resettling of any uh, Ashraf resident granted refugee status because we want to shrink the numbers as, as best we can. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Sherman. Mr. Rohrbacher is recognized. It, uh, you have stated that uh, uh, we're going to do as much as we can in terms of Camp Ashraf. You are not doing as much as you can. It's been 500 days since uh, the court was, or had, was ordered us to reconsider this terrorist uh, designation, and that should be plenty of time to understand what the issues are. No, and other people around the world now have, have determined that they don't put them on the terrorist list, so we are not doing as much as we can. And I would hope that you take that up and do as much as you can to ensure there's not another massacre of people uh, there that we could have prevented. Uh, let's, and let's note that uh, uh, we have officially requested the State Department for information about the Camp Ashraf massacre. Uh, do you intend to comply uh, with that request as, you, as we have been told the State Department will, or are you backtracking from that commitment? Congressman, we will provide uh, what information uh, we can to you. Uh-oh. Uh, we can sounds like uh, the operative words of, of how to get out of a, answering a question. Uh, you, you obviously have the records of your own department. Are you going to provide it? You have a request from Congress. You have agreed to do it. And will you comply with that request? We, we certainly will comply with the request. Okay, thank you. But I cannot tell you what will be in the reply. I'm, that's not... No, that, that, is, that, is, that is the okay. qualification of my answer. All right. Uh, Judge Poe is recognized. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'll try to make this to the point. Last time uh, you and I talked in this very room, we talked about the, uh, the safety of Camp Asheroff. Uh, that was in March. And then uh, later in April, the Iraqi soldiers came in and killed people in uh, Camp Asheroff. People disagree on how that occurred, but people did die. Uh, right now, the 31st United States is leaving. I'm, I'm not discussing that, but also on the 31st, Maliki has made it clear that the camp is going to close. Uh, when uh, we were in Iraq this summer, Chairman Robacher, myself, and others on this committee,
We met with Maliki on the issue of Camp Asheroff. It got very heated. Uh, we wanted to go see the camp. He refused to let us see it. Uh, and later we learned when we were flying around in a Black Hawk that we had been in, invited to leave the country based upon that discussion in, with him. But the number one thing he said about the way Iraq treated Camp Asheroff was the U.S. designation of the MEK. He, he spent all of his time saying this is the reason they're treated the way they are because you, the United States, ha have designated them as a foreign terrorist organization. My concern, first of all, is the safety of the people in Camp Asheroff when that 31st comes. They are, they're, they're in fear. Eighty-five of those people, uh, some are Americans, and the others of that 85 that are there, uh, among the 2,000, are uh, permanent residents of the U.S. So my question is, what are we doing through the U.N. to make sure they extend the deadline so that people can do what's necessary through the U.N. to get out of Iraq and go somewhere in the world? And second, uh, the, the long-term issue of uh, the MBK designation. I'm encouraged by your words last night that you made on, uh, regarding that. So those, those are my two issues my, and my two questions to you, Madam Secretary. Well, Congressman, um, I can assure you that I am personally very focused on trying to make sure that we uh, protect the safety of the residents of the camp. Uh, I and our um, department and our administration strongly condemned uh, the violence that led to the deaths. Regardless of how it happened, the fact is, you're right, 36 residents died um, because of the violence on April the 8th. We are monitoring the situation as closely uh, as we can. We see no evidence suggesting that there is any other um, attack, uh, imminent attack on Ashraf, and we uh, continue to urge the uh, government of Iraq to show restraint. Um, as I said earlier, uh, we do have written assurances uh, from the government of Iraq to treat the Ashraf residents uh, humanely, uh, to follow their international obligations, which they have, as long as the residents remain in the country, uh, and not to transfer anyone to any country where that person could be persecuted as a result of their political or religious beliefs. Uh, and so we are trying to nail down as much as we can uh, to provide some uh, protective uh, screen for the residents. Now, we know that they have approached, uh, that, that we have also pushed the uh, UNHCR to have even more of a presence, to do more, to try to move as many of uh, the status determinations as they can. Uh, so. This is a, an area of deep concern to us, and we are moving on many fronts, and uh, we're also going to move uh, as expeditiously as possible to uh, a final resolution on the designation. And do we have any time frame on the designation? I, I cannot be more specific than that, Congressman, that as expeditiously as possible. Well, uh, I would just want to re-urge uh, you uh, and, and the administration to uh, Make sure that when December 31st comes, bad things don't happen to those good folks in Camp Asheroff. Uh, and all of the politics, we need to set it aside, fulfill our obligation, since they put their weapons down as the MEK, that they get refugee and asylum status somewhere in the world, but their safety is, is paramount. So I would just re-urge that, Madam Secretary. I, I appreciate your urging. I appreciate the concerns, and uh, uh, I take them very seriously, sir. I'll yield back, Madam Chair.